Daniel Lewis, and this is my subject. Blaze. This is Blaze. I'm going to be performing the shoulder spica on Blaze. So the purpose of the shoulder spica is to help with injuries of external rotation, which is how most shoulder injuries occur. So how we're going to be performing this wrap is I'm going to have Blaze place his hand on his hip. And what we'll be using is six inch elastic wrap. I got a double here, so it's a little bit bigger, but we're gonna start on top of the shoulder and I'm gonna be able to start this wrap myself. So I start here on top and I pull it down and around the armpit. And get it nice and tight. And we'll work around the body, underneath the opposite side. And we'll continue in this motion, which might take a while since I got a double. So we'll continue in this motion until the wrap has been used. And we want to make sure the key here is to continue wrapping at, that you pull an internal rotation. All right, so continue around. This wrap is going to be used for sport. Uh, you can use this so that the athlete can participate in sport. Uh, if it doesn't involve excessive overhead movements like basketball or volleyball. So if he were to be playing something like soccer, he would be able to uh, use this wrap to help uh, keep that shoulder stable. So I've run out of uh, I've run out of the elastic wrap. So what I'm going to do? Can you hold that for me in place while I? We're going to take and tape that off. This can also be used if we need to ice the shoulder. If we're going to ice, then we can just tuck it in. But if he's going to play in sport, then I'm going to go ahead and tape it up. So you don't want to tape too tight, but we'll go in the same motion. You don't want to cut off the blood supply. Go around to help keep this secure. So uh, again, just to recap, this is the shoulder spike. It's to help with preventing external rotation. And the way that we perform this is by placing the hand on the head. Thanks.